So this uh, new player that I added to our Daywalker uh, Skype group uh, is T Tack Izu Izuwal uh, says he he wants a, a a show match and I might just give it to him. Uh, we'll see we'll see how long Five Year Old can stay around if he wins that is or if Bob Moon can stay around if he wins. But we'll see we'll see if there's a show match coming because I I want to see how this uh, Mr. Tack Tack Clan person here plays. Well, based on that last game, I'm going Five Year Old. <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't even close. What are we eating, sir? Crackers. Bob <laughs> <laughs> Moose says ready. Five-year-old says me too. All right, here we go. Countdown is beginning. Good luck, have fun to everybody in the final here. World's deadliest youngster. That's his nickname. That's what it is now. Me, I, I did that. <laughs> so, Wait. I uh, I was craving something to drink. Okay, and I, I'm I'm not a drinker. I don't drink. You know, I'm, I'm not a uh, alcoholic or anything like that. But so I went to the grocery store and I bought the world's cheapest Kool Aid and the world's cheapest uh, <laughs> lemon lime drink and mixed the two. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have something different to drink. How is it? It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, it dr drinks. Uh, the <laughs> drinks have uh, like no bearing on my taste whatsoever. Like I, I can drink anything. It doesn't phase me Weird. whatsoever. Weird. Because I tend to like tasty drinks myself. Yeah. Well, I am a Pepsi. Um. Person. So. So, Interrupting you right now, we have a very, very, very early probe from five-year-old. Yeah, this is <laughs> SOP too. Anyway. So spawning, spawning in the bottom left, very unaware of what is about to happen to him. It's the poor purple zerg down 01. It's Bob Moo. Spawning in the top right, the man who loves to proxy things in tournament situations, in best of threes. It's five-year-old, the world's deadliest youngster. Yeah, this is, um... Hmm. I'm thinking SOP, oh. standard operating procedure for this five-year-old. Yep. Like, against people who Hooks he up, thinks. Andy. And and notice, notice, he does this when he thinks he has the other person dominated, anyways. So like he saw what happened last game, and now all of a sudden he's feeling comfortable enough to do this. Yep. It's either gonna be, I think double double gate, 10, 10 11 gate probably. I would think, I think so. so. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Double gate now. Bob Moo can hold this. And remember, he has put a Cybernetic score with this, too. So. Well, there's no Cyber Court on this particular attempt. It's just two gates. Three gates! Oh. Okay. Well. That makes a statement. <laughs> and he's saving up all his Chrono Boost. Although, I don't know... Okay, I was gonna say, he needs another pylon to really actually produce off of three gates. But he did make one. That's good. <laughs> Bob Moose going for the typical expand. By the way, this is in the middle of Bob Moose third, so if he tries to go for the typical early Zerg third... <laughs> actually, we won't even get to that point. We won't. No, no, we're not going to get to that point. Uh, Bob Moo is going to have some serious issues when he when, once this Overlord gets into the uh, main here and sees absolutely zero. Yep, Bob Moo. Watch um, this. I know. He might just type GG like as soon as... Here comes the Overlord, just be yeah, like, yeah. Oh. He might just type GG, uh, I don't know. How much more I don't that? think so. No? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But the Overlord's like, <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's sending, uh... And uh, here come the Zealots! <laughs> Bob Moo knows that things are happening, that he doesn't like placing down spines immediately, that's kind of what you need to do. It takes like three to four spines to defend this kind of a pressure. Plus queens, plus lings. Pulling all the drones, I very much disagree with Bob Moo. You don't need to do that. Cornering the zealots, though. So maybe he did. <laughs> I still don't agree with it, though. Yeah, you need to mine. a lot of drones here. I suppose Four. he wants to buy time. He wants to buy time for his spines. Oh, we've got 11 to 12 harvesters. You really can't afford to lose anymore. He's going to have to sack the hatchery, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in the stream chat, uh, there's a great ac acronym or uh, abbreviation for five-year-old. FYO. 
So I might just call him that for now on. FYO? Yeah. FYO. Five year old stops attacking the natural? He wants the main. There are two spines though. There's a Zergling counterattack, which is really good. There's nothing to defend at home. And obviously, Zergling is against Zealous. It's kind of like, well, why bother? Still, Bob Moose has got to be careful. Hold position on the drones. Let's the spines do their damage, but he's down to only eight workers at this point. Transfuse on his spine. These zealots will die. We're down to how many? Just six compared to the 12 probes, which are about to meet a couple of zerglings. Six wow. legs to be precise. Bob Moose got to be like pretty precise with this attack. These zerglings are his only hope to equalize the situation. One of them gets surrounded. Two of them go down actually. 11 to 8 workers, two zealots coming in, gonna finish off that natural finally. Yep, here's the natural being killed right here. And uh, back home, as you know, the zerglings are doing their best to try and kill off probes. If the probes mm -hmm. get surrounding zerglings, it's not good. Probes not good are situation. all pulled. Really, if if Bob can take out that one pylon from five-year-old, he won't be able to make any more zealots. And then, what's a five-year-old to do? <laughs> Color on the walls, I suppose. He could make some nice crayon drawings. Throw a tantrum. S throw a tantrum. Will he get the pylon? No, the probe surrounds. The wings run. One of them will die, I think. <laughs> yes, but more wings are actually being rallied to the Protoss Nexus. So this all-in has become a base race. Another Ling goes down at the front, but it's gonna be joined by four more, so we got seven total. Meanwhile, three Zealots can't really do much against three Spines and a Queen, and they know it. That's why that Cyber wow. is going down. He needs Stalkers, he needs some range attack. And now Bob actually getting the damage done with his Lings. Probe's going down left and right. Worker advantage now in Zerg's favor. He's doing the probe drill. But, I mean, even in just a straight-up AMU fight, these Zerglings are going to trade more than effectively. Only down to five workers now for Five-Year-Old, one of them in production. Five-Year-Old's in serious trouble. Yes, he is. A lot of trouble here. Worker supplies up to 18 for Bob Mu. Now, Five-Year-Old... Five-Year-Old trying to be cute, and this is biting him in I the know. butt. It is. Um, I think going with one less gate... And just walling off his nexus at the front, just walling off his ramp, he would have been a lot, a lot better off. Oops. Bob Moose Zerglings would have come up and seen that there was a wall, and been like, "Well, shit." <laughs> Ling speed started. We have another spine finishing. Four spines in there. I mean, this is pretty much a Zerg fortress. He knows where the gates are now. His overlord sees it, and uh, he, does. Yep, he has a spine. Uh, four spine claws around the, the hatchery here, so that's pretty well. Uh, defended, uh, five-year-old has nothing. I mean, what he has would he nothing. have? Really, five-year-old needs to be bringing his zealots to his ramp, because once Ling Speed finishes, if he doesn't hold that ramp, it's over. Yeah. The Lings are kind of trying to figure out what their target should be. And they're just like, no, nah, screw it. His zealots are out of position. Here we go. Twelve Lings on the way, and a Bane Ling Nest. I agree with... Bob Boo. Right. I agree with going for the, uh, net, for the, for the main... Uh, I totally agree yep. with this. And I agree with taking out pylons. How about some, mm -hmm. take out some pylons would be would be a good idea for uh, Bob Moo also. That would pretty much uh, kill any... Uh... Bob Moo could even surround and kill these zealots if he wanted to, but he's just running by. Only one zealot in the main to offer any sort of resistance. And if Five Rail tries to rally any zealots from that far away, I mean, what can he possibly do? He doesn't, he doesn't have warp gate either, so he can't warp in, even though he does have pylon. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm afraid the game is over for, for, for uh, five-year-olds. I do not see him recovering. Lord knows he wants to try, but there it is. Wow. Wow. 